Woo hey! Welcome back to Taz, RC Taz, Taz RC, RC Taz, Remote Control Taz, Remote Control Taz. Right, let's get into this now. Um, the 959, the A959, is dead. What has happened to it after some diagn diagnosed it on YouTube, looking at videos, and it didn't take long to find out. It's this little bugger here, the ESC. That burnt out with me because uh, I took it out for the first run and it was wicked, it was really fast. And then um, the next day we went out, and my son had a go and he drove it straight into a curb. And it stopped instantly, so I thought, oh, I've broken something. So I was looking at the suspension linkages, everything's fine, the springs, nothing's cracked. The servo was fine. Yes, the motor was hot and smelly. Huh. Be like me, hot and smelly. I'm hot and I'm smelly. The battery, hot and somewhat stinky. But this was really hot and really stinky. And after... I diagnosed it via YouTube videos. I thought, right, it's got to be this. So I ordered one off uh, Amazon. Ten bucks. Which is fine. If it works. Because I ordered it and I was happy to pay £10 because I only paid £50 for the car. But I'm sitting here now thinking, oh, what if they send the spare part, but it's still some crap made in China that just falls apart or never works because there's a lot of ESCs not working out there and what it seems to me is that all the big YouTubers the ones with tens of thousands of followers and tens of thousands of views they do a lot of uh, coverage on these but they're either brand new or modified somewhat or modified a lot so I've come to the conclusion that this car basically is a pile of crap to a certain extent to the point that for 50 pound you get a remote control car that everything is going to break in it which is fair enough really if everything breaks in it because it only costs 50 quid but you can buy spare parts which is great because if you look at it I mean look at that it's all fantastic. You could have metal bits and different wheels. Wheels really help and they really help the um, the 959B. Because I reckon the 979, the tyres off that uh, buggy, on, uh, not a buggy, sorry, it's an off-road Jeep thing with chunkier tyres than this. That's the tyres to put on these for the control and for the ground, the ground, the ground clearance. No, sorry, the ground clearance. Um, so yeah, so I've just bought the ESC off Amazon, like I said, it's coming on order. But what I really want to know is, what's a good ESC to buy? And also, a good servo. And also, a good motor to put together as one in here. And then have all the electrics, sort of, top standard really. Because this is poor standard the performance and everything is great and the layout is great but you need to replace everything but this car gives you a chance to do that it's not like you buy a like a i was going to buy a cheap little um quad bike remote control for like 10 bucks in uh one of the the small sort of shops around here in this country just to see what it was like but i thought now let's just get this going let's see if i can have a full week of play out of this but something tells me I'm actually going to have problems upon problems upon problems with this car until it's completely upgraded. And But I, I'm not worried about that. Because if it's upgraded, then one, it'll probably work. Two, I'll finally learn how to build one of these. So then I can go straight on and buy a kit from Tamiya, like the... Um, uh, I don't know, should I get the grasshopper first? I mean, that's a good place to start, isn't it, grasshopper? I can give it to my son while I get a Tamiya. Uh, not sure what. But yeah, a couple of Tamiyas first. 
and I might even have a look at that cheap um, petrol remote control car. Well, three hundred quid. I don't know the name, but fun looking thing. Anyway, so everyone, welcome to my channel. To be told that these cars will always break, but there will always be replacement. Whether it the same replacement, which I'm a bit sketchy about. Or just redo the whole thing up. I mean, just get a wicked motor. Get the insides from a, I don't know, a Tamiya itself, maybe. Oh, no, they don't do in it. So you have to get your own in it. Anyway, I'm new to the game, but old to the game. You know, I have a Nico back in the 80s, and I loved it. Oh, I need a Titan now, wheeler. Oh, the whole thing is loose. What the hell? Look at that, I'm tightening with my fingers. That's how quality this thing is. I need to get my spanner out. Anyway, so, yes, if anyone else buys one of these, I'm not sure what the um, A959B is like, because I think they've um, uh, upgraded. Well, they've upgraded the motor, I know that. Not too sure about the rest of it. I think it's more or less the same. I know this is the same, the ESC, unless this is the upgraded one, because when I bought it, I said you, you can put this on the... 959, the 979, the 959B, the 979B, and so on and so forth. So hopefully this is a slightly better. So I'll wait for it. To, that's the worst thing as well. That's the worst thing as well about these remote control cars. It's not actually the stuff that breaks, because I don't know about you, but I like to fix things. I, I like breaking things as well. I think breaking things is fun. But I think that fixing things is more of a sort of... Um, you get more job satisfaction. Unless, unless you send the car in flames sideways through panes of glass and into a volcano with an explosion. I'm talking nonsense here because it is Saturday afternoon and me and my eight-year-old have been shopping. So my mind is a little scrambled. So yeah, this is it. My broken... 959. But hopefully for £10 I can get this bad boy working again. So wait for it to be delivered and I'll do a um, a repair video. But it's easy. That's all you do is take the sticky bit off the bottom, take this out, stick it on, plug everything back in the right place um, and, and that's it. That's done. So I'm, I'm fully confident that I can fix my baby. So yeah, that's another one. So obviously, as usual, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from Max. Psst. It's Bye. goodbye from Max. Bye. Bye. Enthusiasm from the uh, from the prince there. And goodbye from him. Until the next time. Which will be, well, it depends on Amazon, really. So if it comes tomorrow, the video is going to be done tomorrow. Or if it comes later on, it'll be later on. Either way, we'll see you again. Goodbye.